Um, this is a little bit of a message here for, um, for um, Aaron Rodgers, the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. Today, you lost to the pathetic, um, one of the worst teams in the league, the pathetic New England Patriots. Aaron, my message to you is that you are a washed up fucking bum who has a big ego, who thinks you're the greatest to ever do it, when you're not even close to any of the greats of all time. You're not even a top 20 quarterback of all time, yet you stroke your own ego and you jerk yourself off like you're some great fucking quarterback. Dude, you're washed up. You're a terrible leader with a fragile ego, fragile mind. You're a pussy at this stage in your career. You don't have what it takes mentally. Maybe you played an okay game today. Maybe, hey, hey Aaron, you played an okay game. Keep your head up, right? No, body language has been poor. You look like, oh, you fucking receiver didn't catch the ball. Fuck, oh, fucking running back on oh, my fucking coach called a shitty fucking, and just slouching over and looking lazy and looking disheveled and looking out of it. You're a bitch, Aaron. You're a bitch. You seriously, you are a pussy at this stage in your career. Man up. Be a man. Take some accountability, you fucking idiot. Oh, but he took accountability in the press conference. Uh, accountability in a fucking meaningless press conference. It means nothing. I don't care about a press conference. I don't care about the media. You go in that locker room and you apologize to your fucking teammates for not being a better player, not being a better quarterback, not being a better goddamn leader. Because that's what you need to be for this team, Aaron. And you don't quite understand that in your thick skull because you think that you already think that oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna win a bunch of games we're gonna, I'm gonna waltz around here like I'm the fucking man here in New York I'm the champion man you're the champion of being a fucking loser Aaron that's why people clown you that's why people hate you they hate your guts they hate you with a burning passion because you're a career loser you got one Super Bowl ring and nothing else to show for it one oh but at least he has one right compare him to some of the greats to ever do it. One is nothing, it's measly, it's pathetic, it's bad. So, if you're the Jets, where do you go from here? First of all, you need to get ready for next season because you just lost to one of the worst teams in the league. Embarrassed by one of the worst teams in the league. Embarrassing. Just a humiliating performance by everyone involved. And I could, you know, sit here and blame the offense, but you should not be allowing that many points to the, the Patriots and giving up and a late touchdown to the fucking Patriots. They're the New England Patriots with Jacoby Brissett. It wasn't even Drake May. It was Jacoby Brissett, a career backup quarterback, made your defense look cream puff. Your vaunted elite secondary looked like dog shit against Jacoby fucking Brissett, who sucks. No arm, no mobility, no athleticism. He is horrible, and he dissected this Jets D in the lapsing moments of this game. Can it get any fucking worse for the New York Jets? My answer is yes. It can get way, way fucking worse. And watch, it's going to get way worse. Just you wait till they lose another three in a row. Aaron Rodgers must take some sort of accountability in the locker room. He is losing the team. And in turn, he's losing the fans. The fans are no longer invested in the product. The fans no longer give a fuck. Now, can you blame them? They lost to the fucking Patriots. They are literally the second, they're the worst team. They're the worst team next to Carolina. Carolina, I mean, they're dog shit. They got Bryce Young, who's a high schooler, a quarterback. But honestly, I'd rather be a Carolina fan than a New York Jets fan because at least Carolina will have a high draft pick at least Carolina has something to look forward to who will they pick will they pick a quarterback they they're gonna have they're gonna have a, they're gonna pick a QB they're going to pick a quarterback or try to get a quarterback in the draft they have something to look forward to you don't know what the Jets are gonna do on draft night you don't know what they're gonna do because the unpredictability of where the roster is right now, you don't know who's gonna be on the team this year, who's gonna be on the team the next year. You don't know who's staying and who's leaving. You don't even, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is almost for sure thing gonna retire because he is, he's gonna be the most hated player in New York Jets history. He will deserve every fucking bit of it because he is a pussy ass, sensitive, fragile ego bitch.
who can't win shit, who has one single Super Bowl ring, and he once again, he walks around the place like he owns it, like he's already the greatest, like he's the champion, like he's fucking Lou Gehrig at the fucking stadium, when he's not. You're not Lou Gehrig. You're not a hero. You're not a legend. Maybe in your own mind, you're a legend. Maybe. Maybe to your fanboys, to your to the people who, you know, you're their hero. They love you. Maybe to them, you're a legend. But to everyone with a functioning fucking brain who can understand anything at any point in time, they realize you are nothing but a farce. You are like a, you're a scam quarterback who you look great against trash teams. You look good against good teams and great teams. But in the playoffs, when you need to put something together to win your team the game, you wilt. You suck. That is your legacy, Aaron. Got the Super Bowl ring years ago. Years ago. Your legacy now has become you are a loser and you will never be compared to the all-time greats. And you can't seem to comprehend that. You don't understand that. Not only because you got a fragile ego, you think you're fucking better than you are. Not only that, but because you have clouded and polluted your brain, Aaron. You really think you're better than you actually are. You have an image of yourself in your head that is not rooted in reality. And that has become a problem for you. That's not even become a problem for you, it's become a problem for the fucking team. Now the team is dealing with the repercussions of your stupidity, Aaron. So what don't you get? And ju just as I'm saying that, here we go, Thursday night football, they get every fucking primetime game and they suck balls. The Jets, I don't want to ever watch a game that Aaron Rodgers ever again. I don't want to watch him. So I'm not going to watch Thursday night football with Aaron, you fucking fragile ego bitch. You suck. And our, I mean, I'm sorry, this is a hot take. He, I would not put him in the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, I would not put him in the Hall of Fame. He is such a, a fragile-minded sensitive clown that I would not ever bother, ever bother voting for this guy to make the Hall of Fame. He destroyed his own career, his own legacy. That's all I gotta say. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you all for watching. This has been Mr. Truth and this is nothing but the truth.